Travis Hunter, Quinn Ewers, and Donovan Edwards are the best players in college football. Starring at Colorado, Texas, and Michigan, the cover athletes for EA Sports College Football 25 have had incredible careers. Today, we're going to simulate the rest of their careers to see how they do. We're going to start off with Texas. We got Quinn Ewers, the quarterback of the Texas Longhorns, a 92 overall junior from South Lake, Texas. He's a guy that's probably going to be a first-round pick next year. Donovan Edwards, the senior, the lead back in the Michigan backfield, another cover athlete, a 91 overall senior running back out of West Bloomfield, Michigan, a guy that will be gone no matter what. And finally, Travis Hunter, a 95 overall wide receiver. He does play both sides of the ball, but he's listed as a receiver here. Junior from Suwanee, Georgia, probably the most polarizing figure in college football. We're going to see how these three seasons turn out. In the first game of the season, Donovan Edwards goes for 140 yards on the ground. What an app absolutely massive game. Taking a look at Texas, Quinn Ewers goes for 334 yards and four touchdowns in the first game of the season. He also has 20 yards on the ground. And then this is against an FCS school. This is supposed to be South Dakota State. Travis Hunter starts the season off slowly with 36 yards. Jimmy Horn actually goes ballistic. In game two, Michigan actually plays Texas. So we got a chance to see Donovan Edwards versus Quinn Ewers. Take a look at this one. Michigan comes out on top. Quinn Ewers did not play that well. Only 185 yards of the year with two touchdowns. Did have 62 yards on the ground, but not a good game from Quinn Ewers. Donovan Edwards 78 yards on the ground with a touchdown of his own, as well as 11 receiving yards. So great game from Donovan Edwards. Travis Hunter against Nebraska in a loss. Travis Hunter goes for eight receptions and 82 yards. Great game by Travis Hunter. Just the rest of the offense couldn't do anything. Against Colorado State, Travis Hunter gets his first touchdown of the season along with 26 other yards. And then against Baylor to start Big 12 play, Travis Hunter only has 31 yards. He's really not getting looked at. Shadar Sanders really loves Will Shepard and Jimmy Horn. For Michigan, in their third game, they took on Arkansas State. Donovan Edwards with another 100-yard rushing game. He also had 14 yards through the air with a receiving touchdown. Donovan Edwards is playing great. Against UTSA, Quinn Ewers played okay. He had 10 yards and a rushing touchdown as well. And then 16 yards on the ground as well. Against USC, Donovan Edwards had a nice 26 seven yard reception against UCF Travis Hunter goes for 99 yards and a touchdown he's really starting to break out 10 receptions as well against Mississippi State Quinn Ewers had another 20 yard rushing game not really passing the ball well but he's doing a lot on the ground against Oklahoma 25 yards again not doing too much through the air but doing a lot on the ground against Minnesota Donovan Edwards has 112 yards with a touchdown on the ground absolutely dominating games from Donovan against Washington another 120 yard game had a touchdown in this one as well Donovan Edwards might win the Heisman also had 15 yards through the air another nice three and a half fantasy points Against Kansas State, Travis Hunter gets another touchdown, has five receptions for 29 yards. He might be the product of the fact that Colorado in and of itself is not playing well. I think they're three and five at this point. Against Arizona, Travis Hunter only has 12 yards. But look at his teammate, Will Shepard, 290 with three touchdowns. Ajante Wester with 104 yards and two touchdowns. Travis Hunter, who? Against Michigan State, Donovan Edwards had 126 yards, two touchdowns, absolutely dominating the run game. 20 yards on the ground against Georgia. Quinn Ewers has not had a good season. Bad look for Longhorns fans if Quinn Ewers played like this in the race regular season. Against Vanderbilt, Quinn Ewers comes alive 359 yards through the year with three touchdowns of his own. Another 20 yards on the ground. He's consistently adding good yards on the ground. Against Cincinnati, Travis Hunter had another 22 yards. A solid four to five receptions a game for Travis Hunter. At the release of the first poll, Michigan is undefeated the number one team in the country. Texas is number nine. Colorado is unranked. They are three and five right now. Through eight games, Donovan Edwards has almost a thousand rushing yards with seven touchdowns. He's got almost 100 yards receiving with another touchdown through the air. Donovan Edwards is having a great season. And so far through eight games, Quinn Ewers 1,800 yards, 18 touchdowns, only four interceptions, almost 200 yards on the ground, another touchdown as well. He's played, played okay. I think so far is what we're seeing is that the biggest disappointment is Travis Hunter. At eight games in, he's only at 340 yards with three touchdowns, and they're not even playing him on defense. I'm so confused why Travis Hunter isn't playing well. Against Oregon, Donovan Edwards goes for 198 yards and two touchdowns in a loss. That's an incredible game. Against Indiana, Donovan Edwards has 107 yards and a touchdown, as well as 17 yards through the year and another receiving touchdown. Donovan Edwards is doing everything for Michigan. Against Florida, Quinn Ewers has another 20 yards on the ground with a touchdown as well. Also had 17 yards on the ground against Arkansas. Again, Quinn Ewers really not having that great of a season. Another 24 yards on the ground against Kentucky. Against Texas Tech, Travis Hunter has his best game of the season, 116 yards through the year with a touchdown of his own, finally getting on track. And then in the final game of potentially his career, Travis Hunter goes for 151 yards against Oklahoma State in a game that was so close. Against Northwestern, Donovan Edwards goes for 100 yards and a touchdown. Even if he played great, couldn't really throw the ball really well. He did have 23 yards through the air, but Michigan lost its final four games after starting the season 8-0. Michigan finished the season 8-4 as the number 20 24 ranked team in the country. Texas also finished the season eight and four as the number 14 team in the country. And Colorado was unranked finishing at five and seven. In week 10, Donovan Edwards was the big 10 offensive player of the week. In Donovan Edwards' final game of his career, 31 yards through the air with two touchdowns. Dominant game from Donovan Edwards as the Michigan Wolverines take down the Baylor Bears 49 to 28 in the Radiance Independence Bowl. Donovan Edwards finished his season with almost
almost 1,400 rushing yards, 13 touchdowns just on the ground. Through the year, another 150 yards with four touchdowns. A dominant season from Donovan Edwards. Quinn Ewers had just under 3,000 passing yards, 27 touchdowns, just only seven interceptions. And then on the ground had another 270 yards with two more touchdowns. Not a bad year from Quinn Ewers, but definitely not what I expected. And then finally, Travis Hunter, kind of a disappointing year, only 660 yards with five touchdowns. They didn't utilize him at all on the defensive side of the ball. Let's see where they all get drafted. So if we take a look at the draft results, Donovan Edwards goes in the third round, a sayonara cover athlete number one. Travis Hunter goes in the first round, a sayonara to cover athlete number two. And Quinn Ewers, either goes undrafted or he came back and shockingly Quinn Ewers comes back for his senior season I did not expect this I only thought this would be a one season kind of short thing but we're going to extend this into this year and we'll see what Quinn Ewers does this season first game of the season Quinn Ewers only has 111 yards through the year with a touchdown they do get the win also has 12 yards on the ground game two against San Jose State Quinn Ewers has 162 yards through the air with two touchdowns as well as another 12 yards on the ground against UTEP they actually lose their first game of the season Quinn Ewers only has 179 yards and a touchdown does have more yards on the ground but it's not a Enough. Against Ohio State, Quinn Ewers goes for 350 and two touchdowns, but it's not enough as they lose their second straight game. Also has another 20 on the ground. Texas this season has not started the way I thought it was going to. They lose another close game to Georgia. Quinn Ewers goes for 320 yards with two touchdowns again. Another 15 on the ground, but it's not enough. Texas falls to two and three. He gets another 25 yards on the ground in a win against Mississippi State. Another 20 yards on the ground against Oklahoma in a win. In a loss to Florida, Quinn Ewers goes for 306 yards and five touchdowns. He played amazing. Also had another 25 on the ground, but it doesn't doesn't matter when your defense gives up almost 50 points. And then in a bounce back game against Kentucky, he has another 20 yards on the ground, this time his first rushing touchdown of the season. So far this season, through nine games, Quinn Ewers just under 2,000 yards with 20 touchdowns and four interceptions. Played great so far. Also ran the ball for almost 200 yards and a touchdown as well. Right on par with what he was doing last year. At the end of the regular season, the Texas Longhorns at number 12 in the country after they were unranked nine games in, they have a chance to compete in the SEC championship game for a playoff berth. They're gonna be taking on number 10 Tennessee. Winner this goes to the playoffs. Against Arkansas, Quinn Ewers had another 20 yards on the ground. In an annihilation of Vanderbilt, Quinn Ewers goes for 370 yards and six touchdowns through the air, as well as another 18 yards on the ground. And in the final game of the regular season, Quinn Ewers goes for 350 yards and four touchdowns. He's playing great to end the season. Had another 12 yards on the ground. Is Quinn Ewers coming alive at the right time? Let's find out. So far this season, we still have the SEC Championship and the bowl game to play. He's at almost 2,900 yards. More touchdowns, less interceptions. In terms of the rushing, a little down. 20 less carries, but only had 40 less yards and less touchdowns. So he's averaging more. Quinn Ewers has a chance to make a real run. And in the game against Tennessee, Quinn Ewers goes for 317 yards. He does have two picks, but he has three touchdowns as well as another 25 yards on the ground. Quinn Ewers led Texas to an SEC championship against Tennessee. And we're going to go to the playoffs. Quinn Ewers has 38 yards on the ground in the quarterfinal game against Boston College, and they absolutely smoked Boston College. It means they're going to take on USC in the semifinals. And Quinn Ewers' senior season ends in the college football playoff semifinals as USC takes down the Texas Longhorns 38 to 19, getting revenge for the 2005 Rose Bowl National national championship game against Vince Young. Final game, he did not play well. Did have 22 yards on the ground, but that was probably the reason they lost. So Quinn Ewers goes out with a playoff berth. Let's see where he gets drafted. Quinn Ewers goes in the first round. So all three of the cover athletes go in the first three rounds. Quinn Ewers did go a year later. I'm surprised he didn't go last year. Yeah, this was something different. I just wanted to try doing some career sims. I kind of anticipated this only being a one-year thing. I was going to just make it a short, but because it lasted two years, you're going to see a long-form version and a short. If you haven't seen the short, go check it out. If you're coming from the short, thank you for checking out the long-form. Make sure to comment down below if you want to see more career your sims make sure to comment down below what kind of teams you want me to rebuild and challenges yada 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 Got a lot coming like subscribe and youtube thinks you're gonna like this video find out if they're right